Good morning, everyone. Hey there. Uh, you got the chip. He uh, he called Mike Francesa. How did that happen? It happens. What were know. they tacking? Tacking, tacking, were tacking. They, were they tacking uh, baseball? Um, yeah. More soccer. Mike yeah. loves uh, baseball. Mike don't know much about the soccer. No, he wasn't sure he could use both feet. Remember that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Can you kick with both feet? We knew that much at know. least. We knew that much at least. Throw the ball, you can't use your hands. People don't think we know a lot about sports. Oh. We do all right. We are whiz kids. We do all right. <laughs> We're going to play the Mike Francesa chip clip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here's how it went down. Ah. You do. You're not going to get a Samaja. You're not going to get a pitcher that's got a lot of a lot of years left. You're going to get an aging pitcher. That's what you're going to get, and you're going to put him in the rotation and get four or five stars out of him and try and make the playoffs. An Asian? An Asian pitcher? pitcher? Hi, Mike. Mike, uh, before I get to my point about the Mets, you think you can wish my father at the 20th anniversary? I think he just did. Oh, can I just say my name? Uh, yeah, Happy anniversary to my father, Chip Chipperson. Uh, excuse me, Lyle Chipperson from your son, Chip. Good. Anyway, Mike. Uh, uh, happy anniversary. Been, Good. Yeah, thanks. And happy anniversary to my father, Lyle Chipperson. Yeah, okay. Anyway, Mike, uh, <laughs> I've heard about this rumor about Murphy being dealt. Uh, I think Murphy's the only consistent bat the Mets have. I mean, he's been working out, he's been eating better. How do you know that? Should be, excuse me? How would you know that? Working out and eating better. he's working out and eating better? Yeah. Well, uh, I read on Twitter and stuff that he's been Oh, you read, you, read that he, you read that he's been well, he's been eating better this, this year than last year? Out, he's been working out and eating better. Uh, this so, this uh, year he has been eating better? Okay, okay. so he changed his diet this year, Murphy? So, look, Mike, do you think Murphy should be traded for the deadline or he shouldn't? Uh, if the Mets are out of it, I think he should be traded, yes. Okay. You know why? Why? Because they they're going to have to pay him next year, and they don't want to pay him. That's why. That's why Murphy's payday is coming. They have- His payday is at hand, and the Mets, if they're out of it this year, they're going to trade him before they pay him. That's why. Marty and Huntington, what's up, Marty? <laughs> Mike, how are you? Good. Good morning. You know, Jersey got turned down on that... Uh- uh, Jersey. There you go. Wow. I love a good chip call. Oh, the graphic that was said a good chip one. from Manhattan. Yeah. <laughs> I wish he would have chipped. I want someone to chip him. Yeah. Like, whatevs, Mike. When he said eating better. Eating, eating better. better. He, he, yeah. said, he said he's, he's working out and eating better. And then at one point it goes, yeah, he's eating better. <laughs> eating better. That's <laughs> <laughs> fucking funny, gym, man. Eating better. Uh, <laughs> How do you know? How do you know he's doing uh, it? Uh, yeah. read it on Twitter. Oh, Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, poor Mikey. That was great. It's always uh, the brunt of people's uh, little jokes, isn't he? A few of them jokes. <laughs> um, t- t- uh, the Nancy Grace clip is amazing. Yeah, that's uh, another thing that was uh, oh, what is it? kind of floating oh, around God, the internet. Man, I, I don't know. You had a missing kid, I guess. And, oh, with the dad? Yeah. And then the I dad's on it. with Nancy Grace, and she's just t- holding back this info and just can't wait to tell the dad oh, live on her God. show. She didn't just tell him. She had to wait till it was on the show. It, yes. Yes. That's good. She's a like, good one. But her eyes light up like she's a like a oh yeah a vulture. She is. <laughs> she's turning into a, a great video would be her just turning into a cartoon vulture. Yeah, morph into a a cartoon vulture, and then he can morph into like some kind of roadkill on the side of the fucking. She just starts picking at him, <laughs> right at his carcass. Because that's pretty much what you see happen yeah. here. She gets so excited that she's got this news. You got look at her eyes, Jimmy. She's a horrible person. I love Nancy Gray. She's a delight. Horrible. She really person. is a delight. <laughs> Father of the missing 12-year-old boy, Charlie, uh, with me is his father, Charlie Bothell. Charlie, we're getting reports that your son has been found in your basement. (laughs) Sir? Mr. Bothell, are you... you What? Yeah, we are getting reports that (laughs) your son has been found... Alive in your basement. What? Yes, that's what. If you can hand me that wire, she's a horrible yeah, we're getting person. that right now. She's pretty much. This is. She's coming right now. This rules. <laughs> she is coming. 
What's the backstory here? The, the kid was missing for how long? 11 days or something? I heard yeah. Yeah, it something like days. that, yeah. 11 days? Yes. yes. And he's in the fucking basement? They didn't check the basement? With a lot of, like... Where's this guy live? The, the, the fucking Taj Mahal? A lot of heavy boxes and stuff. I know he doesn't this, live at the Alamo. Around this area, and they're saying that he couldn't have moved these boxes himself into place, supposedly. Uh -oh. So he, they kind of had him uh, in a little huh. makeshift dungeon, I guess. Um, wait, wait, wait. But, but how old's the kid? Who? Like 12, I heard. Yes. So a 12-year-old can't move some boxes wait, around in the basement? Is it an apartment complex? Yes. Oh, so oh. it's not, not the, in a house. Right. Oh, see, I was thinking like a white man. No. So and I'm thinking a basement of a house. No, those people. It's an apartment complex. Yes, yes ma'am. Why couldn't he move the boxes, <laughs> this kid? He did. Apparently, he, he snuck upstairs for food when they weren't home. His stepmother put him down there. Right. And said, don't leave no matter what you hear. It's like Cinderella. Right. Yeah. Why? I don't know, because they're terrible people. He, <laughs> th this guy, like, allegedly, like, beat him with a PVC pipe. So, like... Ah, oh, so he was oh, probably like, oh, yeah. boy. Is he protecting uh, him then, or no? Glad he's gone. Mm. No, they're trying to probably take him. What? I would assume. So the, the, the He's back with his mom now. Right, so the mom doesn't get him back. So oh, what, but, but, but what, was this, the, what was this guy doing? He was being bad to the kid? Yeah, and they said that, uh, I mean, there were all kinds of weird rumors that after this started happening came out about how he was treating him, like that... He also was making him do crazy amounts of calisthenics and stuff like that. Why? To stay in good shape. Was like he eating athlete. better? Uh, maybe that's what it was. <laughs> what, yeah. what, do, they think, do you think the dad knew and then just <clears throat> pretended to be shocked that he was found? That's what the general consensus yeah, is, yes. Oh, he's trying to get him into shape. Acting. Acting! I heard his pizza was missing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know where it was? Where? Well, the big show ate it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Really? It's crazy. That was actually the prevailing theory before they found the kid in the basement. Didn't know that. They that's the big, the big show, show ate might have ate the kid. Oh, yeah. where's my kid? <laughs> the big show ate him. You right. Think, right. All right. You think the big show likes pepperoni on his pizza? Oh, I think so. Maybe a little, uh, gets a little crazy with the pineapple sometimes? No, no, no. No pineapple. No, you sure? No he pineapple? Might, he might throw some ham on there. little ham? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sausage, yeah. all the meat products? He oh, loves yeah. meats. Very yeah. meaty pie. Does he mix up his meats on his pizza, you think? Oh, yeah, he'll do that. Sure. Sure. A big show. What about a good, uh, like, uh, green pepper or something? A little vegetable, mm. uh, a little mushroom or something. Vegetable, really like, schmechtable. Yeah, really? like stuff that comes from the ground. Extra cheese, maybe, for Big Show's pizza? A little extra cheese, A little sure. extra cheese? Yeah, a little extra cheese. Okay. So, 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 so this guy is on here talking to Nancy Grace about his missing kid. <laughs> right. And then Nancy uh, knows that the you. kid was found in the basement alive. Right. right. Now, this dad's freaking out because... The, he, his reaction is a little weird. Well, that's everybody thinks it's uh, make pretend. Make pretend. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. <laughs> We're yeah. all this way. Right. <laughs> We're all this way. Yuck. Oh. All right. Well, yeah, uh, it's a yeah. kid, you know. So. Uh, who? So, so now we don't get this. Oh, what oh, are we talking oh, about, Opie? Oh. What? Was she just getting the news, though, or no? Well, she probably got the news at some point during the show. Yeah. But they were coming out of a commercial break. Oh, she's holding back. Hot peppers on uh, Big Show's pizza? Mm. Uh, as long as they're greasy. Like the yellow ones? The, what are they called? Banana peppers? Mm. Yeah, he likes them with some grease, though. They're called banana peppers. You sure the Big Show can handle some spice on his pizza, though? Oh, he don't mind a little spice. What about a little uh, little uh, crushed red pepper? He didn't have time for all that. When he gets Hate the pizza, that. he eats the pizza. He throwing that garlic, shit on Garlic pizza. powder? No. Yeah, I like time. a little uh, stuff on the pizza. Yeah. No, I figure it this way. The pizza guy knows how to make a fucking pizza. Who am I to say it needs more of this or it more of that? It always needs more sauce. Mm -hmm. Pizza always needs more. Is that Seinfeld? Mm -hmm. No, no. Okay. It's not. I'm why, just saying. Why are they always, uh, can you say chintzy still? A little chintzy ah. with the sauce? You can't say chintzy? What no, is that? No, me. Oh, what are you, a chintz American? No, he says chin. Oh, chintzy. <laughs> yeah, chintzy. As in Quincy. I got a cleft in me, Sam! Ah, chintzy. Of course. Oh, my God. Oh, wrestling highlights on Fox News. Maybe they're going to talk about the Big Show's pizza. Sick. That would be a Broken great segment for Fox. Challenge. And for the record, the Big Show doesn't like to order his own pizza. He oh. eats yours. He just eats yours. Broken Skull Challenge? What's the Broken Skull what Challenge? Is, what is Steve Austin doing? He's got a reality show. Oh, oh okay. God. All right. All right. We don't need Great. to worry about It looks like that. Survivor and everything else. All right. Fuck that. Yeah. We'll have him on, though. He's a cool guy. I got to know why this guy reacted this way. He doesn't seem happy. What, the guy whose pizza Big Show ate? 
No, the black guy on the. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. Maybe what? The Nancy Grace. Oh, we're back yeah. on the Nancy Grace. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll no, bet the, the guy fuck. with the kid or just heard in his earpiece. Somebody told him, "Hey, man, the big shirt just take your pizza back." Oh home. man, dressing right. room. Yeah, so no, he's yeah. pissed off about that. Let's see what the boat captain from Apocalypse Now has to say. <laughs> <laughs> Her facial expressions are just oh, wonderful. She has nice eyebrows. Could we, could we uh, tweet this out to the people there? Oh, yeah. Rock? yeah. yeah. I got to I got to see the rest of this because he he kind of freaking out. I think he might have been like, "Oh, this would be good if the kid's gone cuz then he can't rat me out for fucking hitting him with a pipe or something." Right. Now, real quick before Wait we Wait a this, minute. Steve Austin's across the street. Were yeah. we offered Steve Austin? No, but I Why? Cuz apparently his media tour was a clusterfuck. Uh oh. Well, we're never going to say yes Don't to say it like that. that. Cluster F? Yeah, see us. I was just thinking if uh, mm. The Hawk, who's a big <laughs> Stone Cold fan. The Hawk fan. is a big Stone Cold fan. Yeah. Maybe if the Hawk wants to come down. And... But if the live shot's happening now, we got to figure He'll out these live shots ahead of time. You might be on for two, because they're about to set up some kind of challenge. They are. Why don't you get out there and do the Broken Skull Challenge, you right? You know what you You're can do? You're a big Stone Cold fan. Grab what? that can of whoop-ass and bash it over your head. <laughs> over your own head. Yeah. yeah. Go do a walkabout. See if see if you could uh, yeah. catch up on Mars. That, that uh, yeah. get the fuck out of here tape that they got up looks pretty close to the action this time. You, so. you should do. You should go down there and jump and up and down outside the thing and yell, mm. "I can do the challenge! <laughs> I can do the yes. challenge! Yes. Exactly, I yeah. can do the challenge!" Yeah, do oh, the tire man. thing. Go ahead. You got time. Just do oh, the tire yeah. thing. Oh, they got. No, the they're doing it now. I think it's too late. It. No, they'll do it again. Go go go! Go now! Yeah, but Elizabeth gets the style point. She looks great. There you go. You're kicking ass. You're doing great. I want you lost jumping up and down. Broken skull challenge. How many people actually do use high heels? Nobody. Nobody. Did Gray White do Eye of the Tiger? Here we go. Shots. Why are you scared? Go. I guess so. Not originally. No. I know that much. All the way. You hear the guy? Oh, Clayton, don't break. Holy shit. What happened to the news? I, I don't know. This they're is running wacky, around. Like, wacky radio they're doing. There's a sledgehammer, you rock. Maybe you can... Do you want to see him jump up and down yelling, I can do the challenge? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, challenge. this is racist. All right. <laughs> he rock just left all annoyed. He is so annoyed when he's got to do these things. Travis, is he annoyed? <laughs> yeah, he's walking down the hall, and Sal goes, Eric, you, you going? Because Sal would, would follow him to take Yes. Pictures. And he goes, Apparently. <laughs> oh God! Remember when he used to just yeah. do things? Get up and go. He, no, no, no. Oh, he, he had a lot of get up and go. Does he? Yeah, you yeah, think? Yeah, he yeah but he's yeah, already talking about him. He's changed since Rome. Look now, yeah, you think? Yeah, Rome he's, a did big, it? he's a big, he's a big man now about the world. Very dangerous. Mm. International traveler. What's Stone Cold doing? Just kind of standing there. He's raising. Oh, you want to hear this? Steve Austin's Broken Skull Challenge it premieres this uh -oh. Sunday. See, it's and, over. Uh, 8 PM on Tell you Rocky doesn't have to What's the biggest no. surprise no. doing this show? No fear. I'm Just the, the, the nature of the athletes that come out, whether it's the men or the women, they're ultra competitive. It's a great show. There weren't too many mishaps. We call an ambulance every now and then, <laughs> but that's only if someone is really, really messed up. How right. many in heels? Clayton, take that. Nobody in heels. Go You're pick the first. Up some garbage in a, in a park. This is groundbreaking yeah. television. Round of applause, Steve Austin, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, e rock once again. All right, just about an hour. Day late and a dollar short. She's sounding more and more like a Yenta. Hmm. You notice that about her? Mm -hmm. yeah. Elizabeth Hasselbeck Hassel or Beck? Hasselbeck. Hasselbeck, probably. Not Stone Cold, though. He's still the fucking man. That's right. Isn't he? What about the Big Show, though? With the Big Show, Stone Cold was a little pissed before this show. Why? What happened? Uh, Big Show ate his pizza. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he eating everyone's pizza? God, well, crazy. Oh, look, look. That. Oh, that's a replay. Yeah. That's too late. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. She's, she's attractive, though. we got to figure out these live shots ahead of time. I want to see her snap her fucking ankle when she does these things. No. Like high heels I want to like see that. her dress fall out, then you oh, realize she has a good. plug in her asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Did she have that? What if her dress just fell off? Oh, There's a big God. butt plug in there. It'd be wonderful. Yeah. Watch that. Opening her up. I got... Getting her ready. <laughs> Some gaping. I got to know what's going on. With the, uh, what? Nancy Grace in this dad, oh, yeah. dad thing, because he, he really did seem... That's a weird reaction. Yeah. But then he had a press conference saying he had nothing to do with this. He's pissed off that uh, people are assuming that. Well, maybe his reaction wasn't that... Uh, Convincing, but, but her face is great. I think we tweeted out by now. If you want to, yeah, out. she's looking. Oh, like, and they show on Twitter. She put her head down. She's kind of looking um, with her eyes up because her head is down. Like, uh, did you know? What's her deal? Does she have a big um, following? Just a clit. 
Oh no, actually. Nah, I don't she's think she's so. a big. Do people know who she is because she's had, she's so enraging. Yeah, but I don't know how big her following. I don't think headline news is doing particularly no, well. No, not well at all. She's a slob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's absolutely a slob. Yeah. I mean, she's definitely known. Though. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Definitely sexually attractive. All right, let's see, let's see the rest of this clip. It's, Sam, the boss wants amazing. Like, Fussing around. <laughs> Love this. You know, big show rhymes. Okay, here we go. Fired. So are, are what? you? What? Yeah, we are getting reports. Sam, that can you stop for one second? I just need to know who's guarding Nancy Grace's pizza right now while she's uh, doing Ooh. this on her show. Is her pizza safe from the Big Show? I would generally say no pizza is safe from the Big Show. None. Huh? She uh, <laughs> looks like she could eat her fair share of anything too. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, she probably already ate her she's a little piggy girl. Oh, you think girl. she ate her pizza? So Real she's quick. not worried about the Big Show at this moment in time. She's I a think... little piggy girl. <laughs> yes, she is. Yeah. She is a little piggy girl. Yes, when her is. nipple popped out on Dancing with the Stars, yes. that fat tit. Didn't that make slutty. you throw up? Yeah. That's supposed, was, to be, uh, that's supposed to be hot. Yeah, a we little nipple that. slip <laughs> is always good, but that wasn't sexy. It's just, that oinker. wasn't good. What? Very slutty oinker. Is it like a pig nipple? Like you expected, like three yeah, more to be in a line. Under, yeah, in a yeah, line it, down her it, side. It kind of had that gravy stain look to it. It did. Yeah. Yes. Rooting around in her own slop. I, I used to, <laughs> I used to tweet her about how pornographic she was for showing her tits on television. Yeah. Like, she blocked you, right? She did finally block <laughs> me. So people will. Uh, <laughs> She, people will uh, go around and, and they'll be like, Jim Norton says you're a cunt, and they'll right. give it, which makes me laugh. Yeah, she still gets to hear it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's piggy. I don't blame her for blocking me. Piggy girl. She's, she's piggy she girl. right. You gave her reason? Oh, yeah, with, with darn good reason she did. <laughs> uh, what was her hashtag for this story? Uh, hashtag find Charlie. Was it really? Yes. Oh, there it is. I see That's it. Not, okay, find uh, Charlie. Find Charlie. Yeah, but that's the same one they used in Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> she had already found him. She already found yes, him, yes. but she yeah, couldn't yeah, yeah. let her find Charlie hashtag go. Found Charlie. No, no. It should be found Charlie. Yeah. Well, Rob, where's my thumb, Charlie? There's another one. <laughs> um, you know, brown comma, Charlie. <laughs> Get it? Get it? His last name first. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. No calling. That your son has been found what? in your basement. She's mad that he's not reacting yet. Humna, humna, humna. Sir? Yeah, gonna... What? <sighs> Mr. Bothell, are you... Are what? You... Yeah, we are getting reports that your son has been found alive in your basement. What? <laughs> yes, that's... What Say what the again. Me that wire very quickly. Say yeah, what again, motherfucker? Right I dare you. I double from, dare you. From yeah, how how could your son be That's alive not right now. in your basement? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh shit! And if you were the father, did he say you, oh shit? Yes, he did. <laughs> and if you were the father, wouldn't you run off set at this moment? Yeah. Who gives a fuck about uh -huh. this dumb TV interview? Yeah. Wouldn't you just leave? You'd think. Nancy, as much as I've enjoyed speaking to you, right. I'm going to go find that kid yeah. that my was time that was found. Yeah, this interview now spent. means nothing to me, so I'm out of here. Yeah. yeah. Him plugging my dates was really inappropriate. That really was. Not, that wasn't cool. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Bolf. I have, n I have no idea. I, 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 <sighs> this doesn't look real. Now, this is just a report that we are hearing out of Detroit that uh, we're trying to confirm. But uh, yeah, everybody please. in New York, please get on it. Uh, let me know when we get Charlie Langton from WWJ. Uh, sir, did you check your basement? I checked my basement. The FBI checked my basement. Have you Detroit checked the police children? checked my basement. My wife checked my basement. Um, I've been down this several times. We've all hey, been checking. Hey, check out. my basement, you bitch. Okay, uh, this, my... this is what we what we are hearing that uh, the missing twelve year old Pause. boy has been found yes. alive and no. well. Oh, sorry, we got that wrong. It's another Charlie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your boy's been found dead. Yeah. Did the FBI check the basement, right? You would think they would really look around. I'm sure they checked. The premises. But maybe the kid he wasn't was... there when they checked. But maybe the kid was coming and going. Oh. Yeah, could have been. Mm -hmm. I think maybe, he, oh, maybe he was hiding from them because he wasn't mm -hmm. too, none too mm -hmm. thrilled with their mm -hmm. whatevs. Mm -hmm. It's a prank. He's in a barn. He's not in a well. 
It was 12 Monkeys. Wow, good one. Yeah, I remember that. Good movie. In his father's <laughs> basement. Now, this is what I, I don't understand why you guys would have reported he's missing. And all our viewers he's have been, been on the lookout for him. We've been we've been on the lookout for him. We searched that entire house repeatedly. The FBI searched, Detroit police searched. The FBI. Oh, oh, God, they brought dogs. Everything. Oh, Everybody man. Was searched. Some of their what? friends. Oh, God. Yo, Have where my dogs at? Cell phone? Um, I my give cell you the F dead. Um, I, I, I. I actually getting down here. I left it in the car charging because it it it, it, it had it, enough it, it, about it, your um, phone. Shut up. Yeah, and, I'm, and I don't have enough any time minutes yeah, because I was yeah. texting too much, and so my oh. data plan <laughs> just going on and on about the dumb it's phone. Sidetracked. Although, if you're in, if you're, I, I don't know, but if you're in shock, wouldn't you kind of react weird? Would you? Yeah. 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 Would you? But I mean, if your kid's missing, wouldn't you make sure your cell phone is properly charged too? Hey, there's a very good. You, think you would that. want it charged That's constantly. Just in case some news came in. Right. This is suspicious. I think it's suspicious. I too. see some suspicious things going Absolutely. on here. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you'd yeah. think that if you were in a TV studio, there might be a free outlet with a charger. You wouldn't have to leave it in the car. Right. Right. So just in case right. some, the police call with news of your missing 12 year old, uh, perhaps you'd get the call. Yeah. Oh, boy, something's amiss well, here. The last king of Scotland is very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Earth, wind, and fire, and 12-year-old son. <laughs> I searched my basement. My wife searched my basement. The FBI searched my basement. The Detroit police searched my basement. Enough about my uh, basement. We right? searched my basement multiple times. Uh, I mean, we... <sighs> yes. Guess what? <sighs> they had the dogs search. The... We, we've all searched the basement. The dogs searched my basement. Oh, God. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to give you <clears throat> a chance to call home and see what oh, that's you nice can you find Nancy. out. Charlie Langton, WWJ News. Uh, Charlie, we're getting reports tonight that the boy has been found alive in Daddy's basement. Yeah, Nancy, we just we're just getting word right now. And oh, we what liars! Oh. Confirmed that yeah, the boy has been found alive in the <laughs> father's basement, <clears throat> and we're just getting reports right now that that is true. Uh, and, and literally, it, it just broke moment, broke moments ago. Now, why the boy, why the father didn't know about that mm. for the last 11 days? Uh, what if the child was afraid? If there was any other collusion amongst anyone? What the child? And oh, all of those shit. are questions that we are trying to get reports collusion. on right now. We understand that uh, we're seeing That's a sister. right now. Yeah. We've seen I Collusion ain't been missing. The police chief is going to make yet another announcement that should be coming up a little bit later on. But yes, the boy has been found alive in his father's basement. Trill Gosh, damn. Well, was, you're going to see some shit come out of that story, I bet. Yeah, I think we don't know the full story yet. Oh, yeah. I like a good happy ending <laughs> with a missing lad. You do. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I like a good, with a good missing lad. A missing lad. Yeah, because it's rare, you know. Right. There's some shenanigans up on this Why wouldn't you though? leave the set immediately, though? And then yes. Nancy Grace, of course, doesn't uh, you know give the guy a phone, knowing that his phone is being charged in a car somewhere. Did someone handed him the phone at the end. Yeah. Oh, they did. Yeah, but they had to wait till they got all their shit done. Mm -hmm. Going for that, you know, sensationalized the, the, of course. the whole story, and then all right, finally we'll let you, uh, you know, have a phone so you can make some calls. Mm. Got a lawsuit out of New Jersey. New Jersey man sues Benjamin Moore over racially offensive paint names. Paint names. Uh oh, Jimmy. Well, he's saying that they were named after him personally. How? What? what? But they weren't, right? I don't think so. But that's what he's saying. Oh, so he's a kook. I know he worked for them. A New Jersey man named Clinton Tucker. Key to the story. Clinton Tucker. Ah, it's the name of a transsexual. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was this close to saying really? Uh, <laughs> God, I held back on that one. Tucker. Uh, suing former employer Benjamin Moore, claiming discrimination regarding the paint company's colors, Clinton Brown and Tucker Chocolate. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. My whole uh, bedroom is painted in coon. <laughs> yeah. 
Jesus, <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? That would be a very racist uh, <laughs> yes, name for paint. Oh, it certainly oh, would. Yes, I'd like the. Uh, let me have the fucking uh, the spit green and the kite yellow over <laughs> yes, there. And of course. Give me a little wop blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like some. Well, I should have been the Mick Green. How dumb am I? <laughs> yes, of course. The Mick Green. <laughs> and yellow, you know. Yeah, it's, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yellow, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Well, be careful saying that. But those are well. Those are truly racist. Right. Yes. Paint names. Horrible. These. I don't think uh, they're... Well, let's learn a little bit here. Tucker, who identifies himself as an African-American man in the lawsuit filed at Essex County Court in Newark, said he was hired in June 2011 in the digital marketing department, but quickly found himself being discriminated against. Mm. Tucker is seeking damages for discrimination, retaliation, and a hostile uh, work environment. He claimed that when working on the online arm of Benjamin Moore's campaign for their Williamsburg color collection, <laughs> he learned of the new color... Tucker chocolate, which the suit called extremely racially offensive. The Williamsburg collection also has colors named Tucker orange and Tucker gray. So that doesn't mean Tucker orange. What does that mean? Was Tucker, Tucker in existence gray. before he got there? Tucker then learned of the existing color, I don't know yet, uh, mm. Clinton Brown, which uh, a co-worker oh. pointed out to him as a joke. Some Clinton White on uh, Monica's dress. <laughs> that old gag. <laughs> yeah, Clinton's green would envy, right, Ed? That too, Chippa. <laughs> oh, I see what happened here. His workers realized he was a bit of a, a piss pot. Uh-huh. So go, hey, they also have a color called Clinton Brown. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, he's uh, Tucker Clinton or yep. Clinton Tucker, whatever his name is. Despite Tucker's repeated complaints and uh, protests to BM management about these appallingly racial color names, no action was ever taken by Benjamin Moore uh, to change the name of these colors, according to the suit. Tucker also claimed that he was demoted mm. while white co-workers were given promotions. Oh, man. And that his requ request to take off work on Martin Luther King Jr. Day was ignored. Oh, shit. Benjamin Moore eventually fired Tucker in March, but retained his two white, blonde-haired, and blue-eyed subordinates, according to the lawsuit. Goddamn white people. So that color existed before this guy came along there, Sammy? Uh, Sammy. Uh, I would yeah, say I so, so, right? This guy sounds like he's trying to, you know, bilk the old system. Get right. a little cashola. Right. Hmm. So and Whitey just fucking merrily skips along, not caring about uh, paint color. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Who gives a shit? God damn, do your job. Shut up. Painting I say. sucks. <laughs> Painting sucks. I'm not. Yeah. Oh, I haven't painted in years, but years. I'm just saying, painting sucks. Someone had a great joke about fucking a uh, uh, girl covered in cum. Said she looked. She looked like a, a painter's radio. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You ever see the painter's yeah. radio at a job site. <laughs> I thought that was such a great description of no, Bukaki. <laughs> painter's <funny>. radio. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, Brian in Chicago. Good point here. Oh, hey Brian, you, th guys. you think Carmelo Anthony's going to the Bulls? Oh, shit. I'm hoping, I'm hoping LeBron James goes to the Bulls because I'd like to have a player that doesn't get hurt or doesn't make it all about himself. Right. Are you in broadcasting? I hear a broadcasting voice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, the, 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 hold on. The NBA is all fucked up. You got LeBron James, free agent. Carmelo Anthony, free agent. You got the Bosch, and the free LA agent. And the a free agent team. Uh, what? The LA Clippers, a free agent team. They don't have an owner. And Dwayne Wade, oh, well. all free agents. So, like, the party's over in Miami. At least one of those guys is gone because they're all uh, free agents now. That's it, super team. And uh, I don't think the Knicks have a shot at LeBron James because of the salary shit, the money they got uh, to spend on the LeBron. Mm. And then you got uh, Carmelo Anthony uh, sniffing around, seeing where he wants to play. Maybe for the Bulls, maybe back at the Knicks, maybe with the, uh, with the, uh, the Lakers, I think, right? Carmelo's actually here in Chicago today. I know. That's why I brought it up. Oh, shit. You were calling for What's Chicago. What's he doing there? I was trying to do a little local for you right now. What's he doing there? Uh, is a little uh, meeting? He's sniffing around a little bit. Meetings? Sniffing around. See if he wants to be a bull. The bulls? But these guys all just go for the, the team that, you know, has the best shot at winning the championship immediately. <clears throat> no building. It's got a heart. You know, believe it or not, LeBron James... 
slight chance, maybe even more than, than a slight chance, that he goes back to the fucking Cavaliers in Cleveland. That after would be what crazy. what he did to that city. You think they'll put a big picture of him back up on the building? They probably would. Yeah? Yeah, they probably would. And I think, Sam, if LeBron James goes back to Cleveland, Big Show's going to leave his fucking pizza alone. Really? Oh, fuck yeah, you got to leave his pizza alone at that point. LeBron orders a lot of pizza and Big Show... Loves. How do you know? But LeBron should order. <laughs> you know. LeBron you should order know. fucking hair plugs. <laughs> for LeBron <should> order. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my goodness, it's oh. going fast on him, huh? Yeah. That, uh, yeah, that hairline's moving aback. I mean, I don't care, but it's just funny that he's so bummed out by he has to wear the headband. Thing. Well, he went with the double yeah. headband, double headband, yeah. which was hilarious because he was trying to start a new trend, but it really was because you know he was trying to cover up some hurt. Double headband. Anyway, Brian, what do you got today? On the Nancy Grace thing, if you listen to the beginning of the clip, she says, they found your son in the basement. She didn't say he was alive until about 30, 45 seconds. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. that's true. Because that's her. She's, a, she's, yes. she's horrible. You're right. That was absolutely she was. Wait, she was you hoping for that, that moment. She was hoping that he was going to, like, is he alive? She, is wanted, he... she wanted to build some suspense. Right. She's fully aware. You know, if you've got a parent with a missing kid, you know, they want to hear found alive immediately. Yes. Yeah. Not, not, a, not a pause before the alive part. Out. Hold on, hold on. I want to um, hear this, and then we'll go back she to Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. The father of the missing 12-year-old boy, Charlie, uh, with me is his father, Charlie Bothell. Charlie, we're getting reports that your son has been found in your basement. Sir? <laughs> Mr. Bothell, are you... Are what? You yeah, we are getting reports that your son has been found alive. See, she's the worst. In your yeah. What? Is he a bitch? All right, Ant's, <laughs> Ant's on this thing, by the way, because now the father, wouldn't he say immediately, alive? Is he alive? Yeah, is, is he, he alive? alive? Is he okay? But he just Something. sits there. He's like... Wouldn't your natural assumption to be your kid was found in the basement that he's dead? That's what she's telling you. Well, Would she's playing so. her part. She doesn't, you know, she knows it's great TV not to say alive right at first, right? But the father should be jumping on and saying, "Alive? Is he alive?" Yeah. But he sits there just in that shocked look of his because he knows the son's alive and knows the son's in, in the basement, probably. Yeah. Possibly, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. To be honest with you, just. Just because the way that he went from... I like better benefits than just oh, doubt. Honestly, Want some medical care, dental. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Fringe yeah. benefits. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Friends with benefits. Friends with benefits. Yeah. The Hate doubt that. benefits don't... Well, well, we have some benefits for you. Here's some doubt. You know who likes the doubt Fuck benefits? You. My friend Thomas. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. I love Thank inane you, conversations. Hey, it's just utter I'm... dreck. <laughs> <laughs> and there's rumors that both parents abused the kid, right? Yeah. yeah. The kid said he was running off to a pop lock competition. He'd be back in two weeks. They lock him in the basement. Poor, poor bastard. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to Chuck in North Carolina. Chuck. Yeah, boys. I was going to tell you, Opie, the reason all those guys oh, uh, opted out on their their contract so they can pool their money up how much they're going to split it three ways yes. so they can get some better players. They couldn't do that until they opted out. And one more thing. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So you really yeah. think those guys are all going back to the Heat next year? Sure they are. They have to do that. They have to be able to get that. I think it's 55 mil that they're going to try to divvy up between them and then try to get them a shooting guard or a mm -hmm. point guard. Sign, 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 sign. Sign with the heat. <laughs> you got, huh? What? Fuck her right in the pussy. You got the main three uh, players for the heat all doing free agency. Yeah. And this guy's saying they'll all go back to the heat. Oh, he sounds right, mean, very informed know, on basketball. That's, that's such a really weird political stance to take anyway. <laughs> free agency. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's a good one. No. <laughs> it was not. No, it really wasn't. Uh, it's wordplay. That guy didn't sound like a basketball fan. No, he didn't. Maybe college. He Not sounded a bit uh, southern. Southern. A yeah. bit southern on that one. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. My chair is very creaky. Is it? Yeah. Take a leaky, if that's any indication on, um, you know, what we uh, need to do. I wouldn't mind fucking hauling my giant dick out and yeah. leaving it. Yeah. You want to just fucking unleash that anaconda and. Uh, yeah. 
you know, start to chiseling away at some urinal cakes. <laughs> my friend Dean used to say, I have to shake the dew off my lily. <laughs> <laughs> Dean is an ass. I know, he's funny, though. He's, he's the one that we went into that black pizzeria. He's the yeah. one that said that. Get your cotton picking hands off that salt. Oh, man. Yeah, we were like 16, but we just shoveled snow. <sighs> we're trying to get money to buy some like cotton blackberry picking brandy. Picking hands. Yeah. Oh, blackberry brandy. Yeah. That was a, man, that was a huge thing to get when you were a kid. Yeah, it was. It's blackberry brandy. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, nothing better than that shit coming back up at you. Yeah. Man, did that taste like shit coming through your nose when you were puking. <laughs> not good. No, not mm, at all. It was not good. <laughs> yeah, I gotta take a whiz. Yeah, we should do that. Why don't we do that? All right. All right.